we are going to learn everything about the sound A. We have six different ways to get the sound A in French. Actually, six plus. We'll see that. We have E, so E accent aigu, A I, E R, E Z, E D, E as well, and then the little plus we're going to see it at the end. For us, it's very short. E, E. Okay? So the tongue is going to stay at the bottom of your mouth. The air goes through your mouth, not through the nose. And the lips are slightly stretched horizontally. So we have E, E. Once again, E, E. So now let's see examples for all the different types of E that we have. The first one, E accent aigu. So it can be anywhere in the world. For example, une école, une école, un D, un D, une télévision, une télévision. You can also find the E accent aigu at the end of the participe passé of the verb ending in ER. For example, manger. Manger, chercher, chercher, aller, aller. So those are all participe passé of verbs ending in ER. So verbs ending in ER are the most common one in French. Now, à ir. We have j'ai, j'ai. J, so I have. Sometimes you can hear it be pronounced J, J. It's not wrong, but remember that depending on the area, on the person, on the accent, many, many things, it can be pronounced a little bit differently. We also have the verb aimer. 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 When it's the infinitive of the verb, it's pronounced aimer. But when you conjugate it, for example, if you want to say I like, you can say j'aime, aime. In this case, it's a sound e. So this one, those two, not only this one, are very specific. And then another way that we have with a e is the future form of verbs with je. Let's see three. Je ferai. Je ferai. Je mangerai. Je mangerai. Je serai. Je serai. So here the same thing as with J, J apostrophe A I. Sometimes you can find it pronounced E. So je ferai, je mangerai, je serai. The next one is ER. ER also make the sound E. So we can find it at the end of some nouns. For example, un déjeuner. Un déjeuner. So do you hear? Dé, dé, and je ne, ne. Same pronunciation. Dé, ne, dé, ne. Okay? Un escalier. Un escalier. Un clavier. Un clavier. But er can also be found at the end of the infinitive form of verbs ending in er. Simple as that. Like I said, the verbs ending in er are the most common one in French. So you are going to see that a lot. So we have manger, manger, chanter, chanter, regarder, regarder. So that's it for er. Now let's have a look at EZ. EZ makes the sound E and we can find it at the end of some words such as assez, assez, un nez, un nez, chez, chez. It's also the ending of verbs conjugated in the present with vous. Vous allez, vous allez, vous cherchez, vous cherchez, vous buvez, vous 
buvez. And finally, the little plus that I had at the beginning is the word e, et. et. So et always, always make the sound e by itself. If it's et in a word, it's going to be a totally different sound. We're going to see that tomorrow. But et by itself as end makes the sound e always. That's it for the sound e. 